What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are going over an intraday update with AMC stock. Everything you guys need to know from the data to the news and much more as well as that go over what is going on in the overall market because we are starting to slip a little bit and there is some headlines that i want to bring to your guys's attention but regardless of all that amc is still incredibly bullish heading throughout the rest of this week but ultimately coming on monday that is the only thing that i care about i really don't care what happens the rest of this week monday of next week november 8th the earnings day and obviously the next day because earnings is after hours on monday those are the most important days i'm going to be listening to the whole earnings call i will probably post the whole earnings call for you guys because you have to know what is going on with amc and if you don't know what i am looking at why i'm so bullish around earnings then you're probably feeling a little depressed in your positions we're still maintaining above 40 dollars per share but we're not going up 80 percent like bed bath and beyond on DWAC going up a, a thousand percent we're not making those kind of moves but AMC is the trade and this is coming in the near term future so do whatever you guys want to do I'm not a financial advisor not a financial planner but I have been buying a shit ton of AMC shares so let's get into this video hit that like button for me consider subscribing to the channel check out the sponsored link down below in the description of this video link for moomoo 24 7 financial news as well as free pre-market and after hours access and it's you know a kind of like an investment community as well you can write posts source information you know get ideas from like-minded investors if you guys want to be a part of it deposit a hundred dollars get up to 350 dollars in free stock i got a free share of starbucks over a 100 percent return so feel free to do that if you guys want to be a part of it but let's talk amc so amc is at 40 dollars 12 cents as we currently speak down 1.67 percent and why i say this is still bullish is because it is we're still substantially up from where we just were at you know 36 dollars 35 dollars 34 dollars just a couple days ago october 29th so we've seen a substantial rally to the upside but we are staying above 40 dollars per share that's where we gapped above last time that was back here in the after hours obviously november 2nd went from about 38 dollars 37 dollars all day we were trading here november 2nd gapped up to about 40 almost 44 dollars here in the after hours came down opened up about 44 dollars 21 cents was the high came back down but we're still remaining above 40 dollars per share so what this is telling me is that there is a lot of people that are still just holding on to the stock and specifically today we are seeing lower volume than usual we're only at about 15 million for volume and we're staying relatively unchanged as you guys do know i'm sure you guys do know this but when you have low volume, if people were just selling out, and this was really a all all in all momentum stock momentum trade with this low volume, you would see the price cratering, and that's not what we seen last time with these low volume days. In between twenty and thirty million for volume, we stayed in between thirty five and forty dollars per share consistently. So this is much more than just a get in get out stock. This is a stock that, especially heading into earnings, I want to be a part of and that's why i've been buying so many shares and it's quite obvious i know i say this all the time but throughout all of 2021 if you had bought amc on the day of earnings you would have made a 60 percent return a 1000 percent return and a 100 percent return so if we return anything like these numbers this time around and keep in mind everybody's talking about the patterns and you know the patterns of the short squeeze that's the third short squeeze that is going to be coming yeah i i get that but it really comes down to what is going to be said on earnings and earnings has caused these massive rallies obviously not this first one back here it doesn't look like but still the earnings is the thing that you have to be aware about so that is this current situation that is why amc is still incredibly bullish right now even if we fall under 40 dollars, that's not telling me anything that's not a reason to be you know bearish on the situation here so that's what you guys need to know. Let's get into a little bit more of the data and the headline news that is going on right now. I'm going to go ahead and update the Ortex data. And 
we're looking at 16.51 percent short interest of free float and this is actually saying that this has went down over the past couple of days and it, I mean, AMC, this, I don't think this was a lot of shorts covering because these moves that we got were in after hours and this was very low volume. You guys can see 300, 370, 367,000 for volume, uh, 500,000 for volume, just very low volume. So it doesn't take a lot of shorts covering to do this. Definitely not, you know, a couple percentages of the shorts that have covered. And then during regular trading, we just sold off, stayed pretty flat in after hours, and then now we're pretty flat today. So I don't think shorts covered on a massive scale. Definitely not going from 18% short interest of free flow October 26, now down to 16.51%. But who knows, might be accurate, might not be. Ortex does not always have the best estimates now the shares that are sold short at 84.42 million so still all in all still substantially high share utilization is at 88.39 percent this is actually going up so there's less shares available to be sold short at the current moment free flow on loan at 20.27 percent so that is still well higher than where we are currently at as far as the short interest of free flow at 16.51 percent so something you know to keep your eyes on is how much ammo is available to be sold short and that is the free flow on loan minus uh, the short interest of free flow estimate and you'll come out to about four percent of the free flow on loan that could still be sold short pretty much at any time so keep that in mind i don't think shorts are actually selling amc stock short at the current moment i don't think i think that's why the short interest is not going up and we're not cratering even more in price like we have seen in the past those big six percent ten percent drop days because why would you short amc before earnings that's just stupid if you have any sense whatsoever you know exactly what i'm saying amc has always had a very positive reaction after earnings in 2021 you got to be just crazy to do that now let's talk about the stock tracker data i mean we are populating quite a bit there's about 200,000 for in the money and out the money calls uh, expiring this friday but nothing too crazy now we are seeing this one starts to go up a little bit more and that's november 19th 20 almost 29,000 calls that are in the money 165,000 calls that are out of the money and that's going to be the expiration everybody's going to pile into after earnings next monday so watch this i think if we get something obviously good from earnings that makes people fomo buy into the stock buying the options and the shares that you're going to see this populate a lot very fast probably go to 250,000 calls that are out of the money or even 300,000 plus calls that are out of the money that could mean a substantial gamma squeeze so keep that in mind not exactly sure obviously if that will happen but other than that december 17th and then obviously january 21st 2022 the next expirations to be watching for that's really uh where you're going to see the chance for a medium to large size gamma squeeze now as far as the headlines that are going on right now that is very very interesting we the tech stocks are actually up today the dow jones is down but you're seeing a mixed bag you're seeing some stocks are up some stocks are down like we played the bank stocks yesterday we did calls and puts the calls they ran up a lot uh, up about 60 percent 70 80 percent i sold out made some money on those and the puts were down about 40 percent and then today the bank stocks opened up about three percent down so those puts were up 100 percent. so you're just seeing a flip-flop back and forth with different stocks and the s&p rises for a sixth straight day dow hovers near a record so we're still up a lot but just some other things to know is obviously take a look at this who who warns that europe is once again at, at the epicenter of the covid pandemic so if we start to get that coming back around it, obviously as it's getting colder outside it's pretty cold here in michigan that's not going to be a good thing for the markets uh, obviously, I don't expect anything too crazy. I don't think it's going to affect AMC directly as much. But what affects the overall markets can affect AMC as well. OPEC Plus agrees to stick to oil production plan, defying U.S. pressure. And then we also have a lot of, you know, political things. Nancy Pelosi was just speaking about, you know, trying to get this bill done as soon as possible. Who knows? The markets actually like this bill being delayed because it, it is going to mean more spending. But... 
that's basically all you guys need to know. The situation incredibly bullish. The only thing that matters is obviously going to be earnings and on Tuesday how investors take this. What is said on earnings? This could be a bomb for the shorts to cover if something crazy is announced. So don't get your hopes up too much. That is only my expectation. But that's going to be all for this video. Hit that like button for me. Consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about earnings? What is your price target? People are saying, you know, nobody's talking about this besides me. And I think it's pretty clear that, you know, we're going to see some bullish price action after earnings. But who knows? Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. Do whatever you guys want to do. Check out the links in the description of this video for free stock and also to support the channel. Link for the buy and sell alerts. If you guys want to be notified of all of my trades, check that out. It literally pays for itself. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.